Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. If your HP or Dell laptop is having trouble connecting to Wi-Fi networks or Wi-Fi adapter isn't working, don't worry. In today's video, I'll walk you through a few simple solutions to fix this issue. Let's learn how to get your Wi-Fi working again on your HP or Dell laptop running Windows 10 or 11 operating system. The first solution is very simple. Using Windows built-in troubleshooting feature, go to Windows search and type troubleshooting network. In search result, click on find and fix problem with your network adapter. It will open network troubleshooting window for network adapter. Click next. Then make sure you select all network adapter option and click next. It will scan all your network adapters problem and fix them automatically for you. Once the process is complete, simply close the window. If that didn't work for you, let's move to the next solution. Go to the Windows search bar, type control panel and open it. Once inside, change the view by category option to large icons. Now, find network and sharing center and click on it. Then in left hand side, click on change adapter setting. Here, check if your Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection is enabled. If you're using a LAN cable, right click on ethernet and select enable right now it is enable so disable option is showing but if it does not enable then enable the network adapter also if you're using wi-fi right click on wi-fi and select enable if it's already enabled you're good to continue next right click on your wi-fi adapter again and select properties Find and double click Internet Protocol version 4. Choose use the following DNS server addresses. For preferred DNS server, type 8.8.8.8. .8 For alternate DNS server, type 8.8.4.4. These DNS addresses are safe and fast, provided by Google's public DNS service. Before closing, check the box for validate settings upon exit and click OK. Windows will automatically run a quick check to ensure everything is set up correctly. Once that's done, close all windows. The next step is to right click on the Windows Start button and select Device Manager. In Device Manager, find and expand the Network Adapter section. Locate your wireless adapter. In my case, it's Intel Dual Band Wireless. Right click on it and select Properties. Then, go to the Advanced tab. Under Properties, select Wireless Mode. In the Value drop-down, choose the highest available option. For me, it's option 6, Dual Band ABG. If you only have a single band adapter, just make sure to select the last available option. Once you've selected it, click OK and close all the windows. Now, try reconnecting to your Wi-Fi network. In my case, this method fixed the issue perfectly. If this method didn't work for you, let's move on to the next solution. Go to the Windows search bar and type CMD to find command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator, then click yes if prompted. In the command prompt window, type the following commands one by one. First type ipconfig space forward slash release and press enter. Then type ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS press enter. Type ipconfig space renew press enter next type net sh int ip reset c colon backslash reset log dot txt and press enter finally type net sh winsock reset press enter after running all the commands then close the command prompt now restart your computer and check if the wi-fi issue is resolved if the problem is still not solved, let's move to a very powerful solution. Right click on Windows Start button and open Device Manager. In Device Manager, check if your wireless LAN driver is properly installed. If not, right click on it and select Uninstall Device. Confirm by clicking Uninstall. Once uninstalled, click on the Scan for Hardware Changes icon at the top. This will make Windows automatically detect and reinstall the missing drivers. After your wireless LAN appears again, right click on it, select properties, then go to the driver tab and click update driver. Choose browse my computer for drivers, then select let me pick from a list of available drivers. 
Pick the latest driver available. If that doesn't work, you can select an alternative version and click Next to install. In my case, the Wi-Fi drivers were successfully updated and everything worked fine. I hope one of these methods worked for you. I'm confident that by following these steps, you'll be able to fix the Wi-Fi issues on your HP or Dell laptop. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon to stay updated. Also, don't forget to like, share and comment. Your support truly means a lot to us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.